What do you want from me, man? What do you fucking want? Because you know what, really? I don't fucking care about your documentary. I don't care about being in a fucking group. What I care about is survival. It's fucking bollocks. <laughs> out the door music. This is, hey, fuck, you gotta duck so they don't get the proper height when you're going out the door music. It's backdrops to crimes. I always thought the drums were the true punk band. They were like this arty, oddball, weirdo band. That reckless abandon, that's the way you play rock and roll. You can't afford, you can't People talk about punk rockets, the pistols, and the clash, and truth be told, that the damn were there too. We saw them on TV, we were like, what the fuck is this? It was quite raucous, the whole thing. We'd shimmy along the ledge just to get in somebody's room and shit in their bed. This is a band that really don't give a fuck. And we didn't give a fuck because we didn't have anything to lose. We weren't getting anything like that here. We needed the excitement, we needed the energy. They were better musicians than the other bands. Musicianship was not a dirty word to them. They wanted to play. Those early singles just cut straight through. We thought there were no rules at all, and that's what punk was to us. It wasn't about pigeonholing anything. I'm Johnny Rotten, and I don't care. <laughs> We had everything we'd ever dreamed of. Everything. Somehow, the band managed to fuck it up. You know, I was locked up, I was in a room with bars on the bloody window. The stuff that band's gone through by rights, they shouldn't be here, they shouldn't be doing it. All the other bands were getting their major record deals, but we were out there actually on the road, living the life. It was a real punk rock band. I don't give a fuck if the guy next door has never heard of them. Nobody can touch what they did. One of us should have died after making one fantastic album.